Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Wednesday morning. Hope, well, hope you're looking after yourself and uh, you're looking forward to a good day. It looks like uh, the weather's going to be all right and you're halfway through the week. The working week, at least, you know. So, yeah, let's talk a little bit around some transfers today, as well as a bit of an update on James Madison. So, the transfer, yeah, we've got some new reports from Fabrizio Romano surrounding Spurs and their pursuit of Antonio Nusa, with potential talks being lined up for the next couple of days, as well as quite a really refreshing update on James Madison from uh, Jack Pitbrook in The Athletic. But let's start with Antonio Nusa. I just want to say, if you're new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us. And it's a bit of a transcript, so I'll have to, you have to read it to you, so stick your subtitles on, all right? If you don't want to, you want to look at my face, it's a bit weird. I know you are, it's weird. Anyway, let's talk. So he said, Tottenham really want Antonio Nusa because they believe he's going to be a special player. He's a special talent in a position where Tottenham needs someone for the present and future. So that is why they are pushing. They also know there are other clubs interested in Antonio Nusa especially in England. So they want to be fast and close the deal as soon as possible. Tottenham are going to have new contacts with Club Bruges in the next days again for Noosa. I think this is going to be their big focus in the next days. I feel like I'm going to be an English teacher. You know when you used to be at school and an English teacher goes, what does that mean? What does that mean when the curtains are red? And you go, the curtains are red and they go, no, it means this, right? now." So I'm thinking, right, around that last little bit where he says, this is going to be their big focus in the next days. It means something else is working or bubbling away in the background. Another deal or at least another position of focus where they've been working and they've got a few little, you know, they've got a few little deals going on. Look, I, I do think Noosa gets done. I, I, I'm going to put, I, I, you know, normally I kind of go, I think it will get done or oh, I don't know. And I kind of, I do sit, I do sit on the fence a little bit. I know, I know, I know, I know. I do think this one gets done. Okay, I did think um, Dragushin would get done, and then it made me worry that Bayern were in, and I was like, "Yeah, but it's not the same if it's like a like a like a Lazio or a Roma. I'm not as worried, but when it's Bayern Munich, you get a little bit worried. Um, but with this one, I'm not as worried. You know, Newcastle. I believe what I was reading a report this morning from Ben Jacobs saying that Al Shabab had agreed an offer with Newcastle for Almiron but hadn't sorted the player side of the deal, which is a bit weird. Normally everyone does that the other way. You go get the player side sorted first. Do you want to come here? You do. This is the contract. You're happy? Great. Right. Newcastle. They've done it the other way. They've gone to Newcastle and then to Almiron. I think they, it's kind of in their way to put pressure on Almiron and say, look, they want to get rid of you. They want you gone. We want you here. Come on over. Um, but I do think this deal will get done. I think, look, we are... 24th of January, he's not going to be a player that's playing here this season. So, you know, getting him and loaning him straight back, I think Club Brewers love that deal. I think they do. I think they, obviously, you know, you get more of your money in the summer. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if this is, you know, one of those, well, yeah, we, we've signed him, but you haven't really signed him. All the money's going to start really from the summer onwards because that's when, obviously, you're going to have him. Um, I would say... If I had to take a, a punt on where I think the deal is, it's not personal terms, it's not the contract. I would say it's just the breakdown of how they want money paid. That's all I think it is. I don't think it's a lot. And I think that's why in the next few days, when you do get that next contact, I think that's the one that gets the breakthrough. There you are. Let's talk, um, let's talk Jack Brook and uh, James Madison. So I, I haven't talked about from something from Jack Brook in a little while. But he's a really good reporter from The Athletic and he, and he was talking about James Madison. He said James Madison is back in training and can make his return against City on Friday. Um, he was talking about, you know, he's been out for 11 weeks now. And he was also he had a really fantastic um, report where he said that has he talked, you know, Ma Madison and Ange had talked and how... Ange kind of got the, the the vibe from him that he was desperate to come. And that that made for Ange, it was like, right, you're going to be the guy. I'm going to make you the guy. This system's going to work with you being the guy, which is beautiful. But then just to be a cynic, it shows how weak we are in his position. If he's the guy and it's not been anything the same since he went out injured, you know, we're at the top of the table. We're now fifth. I know we've had other injuries, but you know what I mean? I think had Madison played in a few of the games that we had lost, 
you know, an Aston Villa or a West Ham, we, we probably would have gotten at least a point, if not won those games. I think we were miles better than Villa <clears throat> if, obviously, we didn't lose a Benzincourt that day. But, look, he has been back in training for about a week now. So he will feature against uh, City, in my opinion. Will he start? I don't know. And if he doesn't, then you'll find the front three would be Timo, Richie, Johnson, and Kulisevsky will play the eight. So you're going to have an eight, uh, a 10, sorry, this time. You're going to have a 10. It's not going to be Benton or Skip and Hoiberg. You'll have a 10 playing. Thank God. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Just a little quick one, a little update around Noosa and Madison. Uh, just say, if you did enjoy it, drop a like. It really helps you out of the rhythm. Hit me in the comment section below like your thoughts for about Noosa. You feeling a bit happier that there's some more talks lined up? Happy that Madison is back? You know, do you see him starting? Do you not see him starting? I think we'll know a little bit more probably tomorrow about him from. And obviously, subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification for more. Better, guys, in the video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.